The dream of becoming an NBA star isn't just about playing basketball. For a lot of guys, it's also about money, fame, and getting attention from women. There's nothing wrong with that in general, but it can definitely create problems when the NBA player is already married. Here are some NBA players who you might not know were caught cheating on their wives. Steve Nash Steve Nash is one of the best point guards to ever play the game. He's famous for his amazing passing ability, and until recently, he was also the all-time greatest free throw shooter by percentage. You can probably guess who stole that trophy, Steph Curry. Nash never won a title, but he did win back-to-back -back MVPs, and he was one of the most popular players in the NBA throughout the 2000s. Most people are surprised to learn that Nash was caught cheating, but he sure was. In fact, Nash ended up in the middle of a scandal that involved both his wife and a former son's teammate. In 2001, while Nash was playing alongside Dirk Nowitzki in Dallas, he met a filmmaker from Paraguay named Alejandra Amaria. The two hit it off and dated for three years before Alejandra gave birth to twin daughters. Around the same time, Nash was traded to Phoenix and his career really started taking off. Everything in his life was coming together, but sadly, for whatever reason, this seems to often be the time when scandal erupts. A couple years later, the couple announced the birth of their third child, a son. At the same time, the couple also announced they were filing for divorce. At first, the reason given was that Alejandra had caught Steve having an affair with a 22-year-old woman, but then it turned out that not only had Steve been cheating on Alejandra, Alejandra had been cheating on Steve too. Rumors swirled that their new son's father wasn't actually Steve, but another player on the Phoenix Suns. It's never been confirmed who. Some say it was Jason Richardson, others said it was Leandro Barbosa. All we know is that the couple split and haven't gotten back together since. There was also a pretty ugly legal battle that followed over child support payments. The judge presiding over the case initially told Alejandra that Steve didn't need to pay child support because of how much money she got from the divorce in the first place. But then in 2012, when Nash was traded to the Lakers, Alejandra moved with the kids to LA and tried to find better luck in the California courts. Steve was apparently extremely against Alejandra moving to LA. He actually said Los Angeles is an unsuitable environment for raising children, which probably wasn't a huge hit with his fan base to say the least. Nash remarried in 2016 to a volleyball player named Lilla Frederick. As far as we know, they are currently a happy couple with two kids. Charles Barkley Few names are more recognizable in the NBA world than that of Charles Barkley. The man needs no introduction. In addition to being a very successful player, Barkley is often credited as being the funniest man in the NBA. If you've ever watched Inside the NBA, you know this is true. But if you pay attention to some of Barkley's jokes, you might pick up on some clues about his personal life. For instance, Barkley is notorious for joking about telling his friends to keep your wives and your girlfriends away from each other. He's also brought both laughs and controversy by having an ongoing joke about San Antonio women. As it turns out, Barkley might be more of an authority on the subject of San Antonio women than most realize. Charles has been married to Maureen Blumhart for 30 years, but apparently, in 2008, Charles was at a strip club without Maureen knowing. As you probably guessed, the strip club was located nowhere else but San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio women were dancing for tips all around the Chuckster. And as the story goes, he couldn't control himself. Barkley allegedly asked one of the dancers to come back to his hotel room with him. But funny enough, she turned him down. So maybe this is why Chuck is always insulting the women in San Antonio. Or maybe the whole story is made up. None of it has ever been proven, and neither Charles nor his wife Maureen have ever spoken about it publicly. What seems more likely to you? We may never have complete answers to this one, but don't worry. This next story is as confirmed as any, and it might be the most media coverage ever given to any NBA player cheating on his wife. Lamar Odom Most people, both basketball fans and not, know that Lamar Odom and Khloe Kardashian used to be a couple. In fact, the two were together for almost six years, and they were married for the majority of that time. But something you might not know about Lamar Odom's infamous relationship with Khloe Kardashian is that Lamar cheated on her before their divorce in 2015. In fact, Chloe allegedly hired a private investigator and discovered that Lamar was sleeping with no less than five other women. According to Chloe, Lamar was also not particularly tasteful when it came to his timing. He once cheated on her birthday. Presumably, he didn't wrap this gift or include a card. In a later interview, Odom came forward about his problems with drug and sex addiction, two things which he says often go great together. 
he also said something that probably made Genghis Khan roll over in his grave. Odom claimed to have slept with over 2,000 women. That, even from just a mathematical perspective, is almost hard to believe, but it's not impossible. It just means that Odom would have had to been with a different woman every single week ever since he was a young teenager. As you can imagine, with the Kardashians being involved in all that, this whole ordeal gave Lamar Odom a long-term spot on the cover of every magazine and every checkout aisle in America. Sadly, in the world beyond basketball fans, it might be the thing he's most known for. Odom has since made an effort to turn his life around, and he's definitely the very first celebrity ever in history to also publish a book about it at the same time. Daniel Gibson Daniel Gibson isn't super well known as far as NBA player goes, but this story isn't just any cheating story, and in some ways, it might be his most famous moment. Gibson, whose nickname just so happens to be Booby, married the singer-songwriter Keisha Cole in 2011. Their wedding was actually filmed for a reality TV series called Keisha and Daniel Family First, which aired on BET. However, the title Family First would soon have a very ironic ring to it. Gibson, or Booby, was seen in a photograph at a strip club posing with a stripper. His wife was thrilled to see this. So thrilled, in fact, that she wanted to see if there were any more pictures like it. Keisha started looking in Booby's phone whenever he wasn't around. While she didn't find more pictures, she did find texts that proved Booby was cheating on her. Keisha posted screenshots of the texts online. Now, it was Booby's turn to be thrilled. The ensuing drama was covered all over by tabloids for a while after. Eventually, the couple got divorced. This time, Keisha was actually thrilled for real. She posted on Instagram saying, she was so damn happy, my divorce is final. It's a pretty brutal ending, but not as brutal as his next story. Paul George. The story of how Paul George got caught cheating is one of the craziest in the entire NBA. It's like George watched a cheesy sitcom on TV and said, I want that to be my life. Paul George was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. He grew up idolizing Kobe Bryant and rooting for the Lakers and the Clippers, but it wasn't until 2019 that George finally got to play for one of his childhood teams. For the first decade of his career, he was a star player on the Indiana Pacers and then later the Oklahoma City Thunder. But even though George was playing far away from his home city, that didn't stop him from getting involved in a truly epic scandal that was both based in LA and involved his future LA coach, Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers has a son named Austin who's well known for being a standout NBA player, but he also has a daughter named Callie. In 2013, Callie and George started dating. It's likely this is how Paul George and Doc Rivers first got to know each other, and you'd think that may have helped team chemistry in the future once George became a player on Rivers' roster, but you'd be wrong. The following year, in 2014, George decided to cheat on Doc Rivers' daughter, but it's really an understatement to say George simply cheated on Callie. The dude kind of went over the top. George was caught on a boat with a stripper. The two were on the boat alone, and it doesn't take much of an imagination to figure out what they were up to together. Callie was furious, and it's a safe bet Coach Rivers was pretty pissed off too. Not wanting to fan the flames any further, George decided not to mention that while on the boat, neither he nor the stripper had used any protection, but that ended up backfiring in a big way. The stripper had been a woman named Daniela Rajit, Shortly after the incident on the boat, Daniela announced she was pregnant. In what probably felt like the final episode of George's real life sitcom, he reportedly offered Rajik no less than $1 million to get an abortion. George's spokesperson has told the media that this isn't true, but it's hard to know who to believe. It's certainly something that could have happened given George's monster salary and the level of deep shit he was in. For the grand finale, Rajik refused to get an abortion and gave birth to a daughter nine months later. In fact, Rajik and George actually ended up getting together and they've stayed together ever since. The couple had another child in 2017 and in 2020, George proposed. The couple announced their engagement like most do nowadays with an Instagram post. One funny detail is that apparently, George didn't know the right ring size to get. Rajik is seen wearing the new engagement ring on her pinky instead of her ring finger. But it seems like all is forgiven. But all is most definitely not forgiven with the Rivers family. Even though George found his future fiance right away, Callie Rivers had dumped him immediately when she found out about his boating adventures. She has since dated other NBA players and found a life partner of her own. In 2019, she married Seth Curry. Seth currently plays for the Philadelphia 76ers, who are coached by none other than Doc Rivers. 
the sitcom drama continues. To this day, it's not known what the relationship is between George and the Rivers family. The Clippers were dramatically upset by the Nuggets in the 2020 playoffs. Rivers was fired shortly after. Paul George threw some shade at Doc Rivers afterwards, seemingly blaming his coaching for the loss. LeBron James LeBron James has a difficult job. He has to be the face of the NBA, the player most compared to Michael Jordan, the wealthiest, most famous, most scrutinized basketball player in the world, and he is always expected to win no matter how tough the odds. Regardless of which team you root for, you have to admit that LeBron has had an incredible career and done an amazing job at being a spokesperson and a role model, but nobody is perfect. In 2020, after 17 years of being in the NBA and over 20 years with his partner Savannah Brinson, LeBron was accused of cheating. The accusation came from a surprising source too, the wife of an NFL player. Broncos tight end Nick Vanette is married to a model named Urza Halidi. Halidi is a former Miss Idaho and today she's an influencer on Instagram. In fact, it was on her influential Instagram account that Halidi posted the accusation. Halidi posted a story which appears to be from expensive seats at a Laker game. In the caption, she explained that she didn't like LeBron. The reason she gave was because, according to Halidi, LeBron cheated on his wife with another Instagram model named Sophia Jamora. A couple things made fans suspicious right away. First, the story was posted in May of 2020, so clearly the photo was taken much earlier. The NBA season was canceled in March and no games were played anywhere until July. The other, more obvious reason people were suspicious was because the accusation came out of nowhere and has never been backed up by anybody else. Halidi also said that she wasn't a fan of guys who cheat on their wives, especially with Sophia Jamora, which sounds an awful lot like an insult towards Jamora as well. Clearly, this was a dig at both an NBA star and another Instagram model. This marked the first time LeBron has ever been accused of cheating. One of the many admirable parts of his career has been his loyalty to his wife and family throughout all of it. The rumors this one post generated caused quite a stir, but knowing LeBron, most people don't believe them. Urza Halidi has 20,000 followers on Instagram. Sophia Jamora has close to 3 million. And while we're looking at Instagram, it's worth mentioning that LeBron himself has over 80 million. I don't think it's crazy to wonder if Halidi could have just made the whole thing up for publicity and to try to knock down two people she's jealous of. But at the same time, it could all be true. The responsible thing to do is not jump to conclusions too quickly and see in the coming months what, if any, new information comes out. Like I said, nobody else has spoken publicly about the rumor. Now that it's been almost a year, it seems unlikely anything more will come of it, but you can never know for sure.